Masad na fitti departi tal program, grazie tale il man al Leila, ne spera li panna e tasbu se ufu, dat li et ne dulkom, u tipto tasbu alix, et ne inkuta ufu, um da la fajit, ma na fu il-linja Leila għanna intervista ma Dr. Michael Effler. Dr. Michael Effler huwa wijħet min grup fl-Europa. Stop TTIP. Dana inħolqu dal grup si jispira da xie jiktar u fuqu biex appuntu pajizjo hrajn fl-Europa li uma inkwetati palissa i waqfu da trattat jow tal-in qas iserħu rasom li da trattat uwa kif għandu jiku u mux li jittihdu iktar drittijiet min taħna biex il-kumpanji amerikani jamlu il-flus. Good evening, Michael. Are you online? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Good evening to Michael. First of all, thank you for joining us this evening. We appreciate your time. As you are aware, Alianza Bidla Party is a member of the European United uh, for Democracy. Dr. Klaus Buchner is a German MEP within the EUD, and Rina... Yeah, I know him. Re, you know him, good. And yeah. Rina Ronja Kari, uh, a Danish MEP, also with the EUD, they gave me your contact details, in fact, and uh, they work very hard for the anti-TTIP movement within the EU. We've had in the first half of this program a quick idea of what TTIP is all about. Can you very, very briefly tell us something about yourselves and your organization? Yes, <clears throat> so I'm the national spokesperson of the organization More Democracy. More Democracy is a, an NGO in Germany. We have roughly 9,000 members and our biggest goal is to achieve more citizens' participation and direct democracy. So meaning that people and citizens should have the possibility to decide on, on laws, on constitutional amendments, that they sh can shape politics, not only governments and, and politicians. And regarding TTIP, our uh, approach to TTIP is the question, how will TTIP affect uh, the democracy uh, in Germany, but also in, in Europe as a whole, and, and also the rule of law. So we are not uh, a trade uh, NGO, but uh, we regard TTIP uh, um, yeah, as a threat to democracy and to, to the rule of law, and I'm sure we will talk about that Excellent. in more detail. So let me ask you immediately, <clears throat> if I may, why do you reject TTIP? What is, can you give us briefly your ideas of why you reject it? I will give you three points on, on, on this question. The first is uh, the method of negotiating, and uh, more or less it's negotiate, negotiations in secrecy. Um, we have no access, we as citizens, we have no access to negotiating documents from the US side. We have only limited access to European documents and even our elected representatives, our parliamentarians, only have very limited access. They just put in so-called greening rooms in, in Germany and also in, in other countries uh, where parliamentarians can come but only for a limited time uh, and look into these complicated documents and they cannot speak about that afterwards, they cannot make copies, they cannot take notes with them, but they have to decide about it in the end. That's really ridiculous, uh, this method of negotiating. Um, I, I, I that's think, the first point. I you know? think, the, I think it, it's extremely undemocratic, if I may say. It's, it's, yeah, it's extremely undemocratic, uh, but we have to admit that there is some improvement. For example, the negotiating mandate was kept a secret for a couple of years and now it's published, but this is only in a reaction to the pressure of a civil society and of uh, opposition to, to TTIP. It's not, uh, let's say, uh, a democratic move in itself, but it's a, it's a concession, more or less. So maybe that's, a, that's the first point, the, yeah, the secrecy of the negotiation. The second point is very simply the question of ISDS, so the possibility of investor to state dispute settlement. That's, by the way, a topic, a topic where I wrote my PhD on 10 years ago. Um, and we regard this point ex 
it's an extremely problematic point because there is absolutely no need for such a mechanism because we have established a court in the European Union, also in Canada and in, in the US. Uh, we have rule of law. We have no systematic problems with, with our judiciary. Of course, we have always some problems fixed. We can things, make things better, but there is no systematically discrimination of foreign investors and foreign companies. And the big problem with ISD is, is that this will lead or could lead to a, a chilling effect, meaning that because uh, parliamentarians and governments have fears that they have to pay a lot of compensation to a foreign company. It's that they will not act, so meaning they will not act for uh, strengthening safeguards for the environment or for social rights or for cultural standards. Uh, we have already some uh, practical empirical uh, proof for that, that this will definitely happening. For example, in uh, New Zealand has decided uh, for, for a couple of years not to act, enact uh, an anti-smoking law because Australia is going to be challenged by, by a big American tobacco company. And this is really a threat to democracy. Whenever our parliamentarians or our governments have the fear not to act because there might be a claim, then they are not free. So it's also a threat to freedom. And that's the second most important point. Let me briefly come to the third point. That's a possibility that will give lobbyists on both sides of the Atlantic a better say in legislation. That's called regulatory cooperation, meaning that every trade relevant uh, new law could be uh, could be challenged, not legally challenged, but politically challenged by the other side. Meaning, for example, the European Commission will make a law that would lead to more climate uh, protection. Then the American uh, side can, at the very first planning phase, say, oh no, we don't want it, and we want to ask our stakeholders, meaning our business lobbyists, What's, what's their stance about it. And that's really, really bad. This has nothing to do with trade, by the way. That's a direct threat and a direct attack on our lawmaking procedures. It's so, so highly I, unknown and I, so, if, sorry to be so, if I, so long. But this is the third most important point. If I just course. interrupt you. So basically what you're describing the third point there is literally uh, that uh, conglomerates, uh, big corporations, can literally control the laws of a country <laughs> by <clears throat> uh, indirect threats, if you if you wish, if I'm understanding you correctly. Yes, I would not, I would not say control, but I would say they can influence. Right. That's already negative enough. They can influence laws on the other side of the Atlantic. And uh, I know that your organization is uh, pretty much pro-democratic, and it's, it's a direct insult. It's a direct insult to our democracies because democracy means rule of the people. Um, and it's it's not um, democratic if someone who is not elected and someone who is not part of the society can influence uh, these laws. And I, I'm as a European citizen, I have no interest in influencing American laws. That's, uh, this should be up to the Americans for sure. But sure. with TTIP, this could change, and that's a problem. Okay. Quickly, uh, if I may move on to the next subject. I, I have hundreds of questions, but unfortunately our time is quite restricted. I know, I know. <laughs> Maybe perhaps it would, be, it would be very welcome to invite you here for a, a full program at a later stage. Um, three very quick questions, if I may ask you. Are you still collecting signatures? Tell us about your signatures that you have been collecting. Tell us about, yes. because this, this is something which we, we are trying to instill the democracy in Malta, the democratic right for the people to be involved directly with these decisions. So please tell us about your... Decision. Yes, yes. So um, we, we created a, a movement that's called the Stop TTIP. Uh, this is supported by more than 500 organizations. By the way, there are a few of them also from Malta. Yes, we have so one of them here. Just a little, little bit. We have one of them here with us today. Also in your country. Yes. That's good. So we, we uh, decided to... Uh, to make a European citizens' initiative. That's a right that is in the Lisbon Treaty, in the European uh, Treaty, meaning you have to collect at least one million signatures, and then the Commission has to 
a look on it and has to make a communication and a big hearing in the European Parliament. But the Commission decided not to allow us to make this European Citizens Initiative for judicial reasons. Uh, we decided then uh, not to uh, give up and to make this ECI on a self-organized basis. So we started in October 2014. We ended last year in October, so one year, and we collected 3.3 million signatures in the whole European Union. I think this was one of the most successful signature campaigns in the European history. 3.3 this already shows 3.3 million. Yes, 3.3 million. And still, yes. uh, still the European Union is listening, not listening? More or less, they are not listening. We uh, gave them the signatures um, in front of the Commission in October, but we never got a uh, formal reply to that. And that's uh, quite disappointing, but maybe not that this surprising. <laughs> but uh, for sure, it's uh, disappointing. But what we achieved with, with this campaign is to build up a huge network in the whole European Union. We have a lot of contacts now in nearly all member states, and this is uh, one thing that we can really work about. But the reaction of the European institutions is really, really ridiculous and an insult to democracy. Are you still collecting signatures, or are you, have it, has it stopped? Yeah. Um, we, we closed the European Citizens Initiative because we said we only want to collect for one year uh, because that's the time frame for an ECI. But we decided to, yeah, to make a new signature collection, so it's still possible to to sign on stop minus ttip dot org. We call it the European Initiative now, and yeah, it's still possible to to sign. So stop my stop minus ttip. Dot dot org. Org. We will ask the, the, <laughs> the director to actually put this on our uh, TV program so that people who wish to carry on signing can of course join this campaign, which is the whole point that we are very keen to, 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 to be involved in something like this and get the people involved. Um, Thanks. Next question, uh, an important question if I, if I may ask. How may we stop TTIP in its present state? Is there a mechanism to stop this? What do we need to do to achieve this? To get our MEPs to take us, the people, seriously? Yeah, <clears throat> that's of course uh, the mother of all questions. <laughs> so I, I try to be brief, but maybe it's a little bit more, a little bit more, little, little bit more complex. First of all, we should not only talk about TTIP. We should also look at the CETA agreement, meaning the European-Canadian trade agreement. Right. That will come to ratification first, already maybe in this year. And this is TTIP's little, little brother, because that is containing all the stuff that is in TTIP, the ISDS, the regulatory cooperation, the threat to services and to, to cultural policies, and, and so on. So we first have to stop CETA in order to have better chances to, to stop TTIP. How should we stop it? Uh, first of all, we are trying to find uh, initiatives in, in countries that will ask for a referendum in their respective countries. And uh, I can already proudly pronounce that we have uh, announced that uh, we have an initiative in the Netherlands that is quite realistic that they will bring the CETA text to a referendum in the Netherlands, because they have the right in their constitution to gather signatures and to have a referendum also in international treaties. Hopefully we will find more countries, because I think that the, the public opinion on these treaties is quite more uh, negative than the I opinion think. of our parliamentarians. So that's I think a strategy to, 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 to go for referendums. But of course we have also to look at our parliamentarians, the European Parliament has to decide on CETA and TTIP, so is we this, need to put pressure on them. If the, the, the European Parliament, is it yes. a, a simple majority? If one country vetoes, <clears throat> does it carry on? Does it not? I'm, I'm asking you if there are such mechanisms involved. Yes, so the European Parliament has to decide with majority, but there also will be a decision in the European Council and we are uh, pretty sure that 
uh, we have also legal study on this, that uh, unanimity is required for TTIP in the Council, meaning that one country has the possibility to veto this agreement. And that's already uh, a strategy that we should find for one country that is trying to say, no, of course it needs a lot of pressure from the citizens in this country and from the political parties and from the NGOs and so on, but it is still possible, and there are examples in the past, because look, for example, on the ACTA treaties, yes. it was defeated by, by several countries, look at other uh, treaties like uh, WTO, uh, there are examples that you can block even such uh, big, big treaties. So we, we try to find uh, which which countries have the best chances to yeah to to block it in the in the council? Okay, so basically what we're saying here is that yes, there is still hope, there is still hope, there is still methods that can actually be applied if the the the, the people wake up, stand up to yeah. be counted, to be counted. Yeah, def definitely. Maybe maybe one more word on that. Uh, you know, there is a regular public opinion poll of the European Union. It's called the Eurobarometer. Yes. And the Eurobarometer has asked repeatedly on the public opinion on TTIP. And in the last poll, there was a drastic change for TTIP, meaning that the negative side has raised. Yeah, so there are more and more people against TTIP, and we have now a majority against TTIP in four countries in Europe. That's Germany, Austria, Luxembourg, and Slovenia. And um, the more the people know about TTIP, the, the more critical they get. And that's, well, uh, I think, a good, a good thing. And that's so important, this uh, TV show in, in Malta, maybe, uh, it could lead to to a more critical stance in the public opinion also in Malta. The whole point of today's program is exactly for that reason. We wish to make people aware of TTIP. We wish to make people aware that they should be asking very, very, very serious questions, both from their MEPs Great. who were invited <coughs> to today's program but did not take part, and from the parties who were invited to today's program and they did not take part, but the, your your colleagues who who are taking part in, in this in this campaign are here as well as other people they are here as well. We Alianza Pidla Party assure you that we are uh, quite uh, behind you on this. We will we will do our absolute best in the coming months uh, to talk more publicly about this subject and make it a democratic decision rather than. Uh, one to please the the businesses uh, rather than yeah. the people themselves. I thank you very very much for being yeah. with us. I hope that and we will be having much more conversations and also seeing your presence in Malta here to support yeah. the, the campaign. Maybe, maybe maybe I can just say the last word. Uh, yes, yes. I'm really happy to to come to your country if you want to to have a lecture to uh, participate in public discussion whatever you find useful, we are, we are quite happy to come to your country and help spread the word on TTIP. If you like, we will definitely find possibilities to arrange that. Rest assured, we already have started thinking about campaigns. We have okay. several campaigns <laughs> in mind. We will be in contact. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye-bye. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> Jabru, so post, but as million firma, l'Unione Europea, Tisimek, or Tito Hector Bisterita, Dao Jabru, Ictar, mean, Tit million, or three point three million, it is a half Tictar, Milikelam zone, or all Liberic, a democracia, litant Neftahrobia, Ada, Mabdich, is sex a realta. Flachar, the Ringachal panel, as Flachar, is a handful fulcom. Grazie al pacienza con la tappa, ma che non abbiamo forse, dan was suggest, il suggest, vast, che non abbiamo forse, ne prova, in dachlo half, na half non formazione 15. Mi stia nipta, Simon, ecco, ma in British, big, scini, guarda, le smai da collo, o guarda, per spasso, le right half, na fu, il suggest, tutta fu, scini, esat, il posizione, tiac, no, ha, le domanda, stat, nipta, bia, del partiti, e mal partiti, non mi è, no, è, è rappresentato. Vi chiamo Malpoplo. Sì, nel posizione ti accendi. Ma la, ara, em, em, 
numro të pozicionit, hanë në hutlet pozicionit, o hanë me laukollë të l'avokat të ashtitan, kontë të të nërë dhe ashe në omilës të të riqerka duar e situacioni lokali. Jider li minha tal biznesis fmal tal nga asë kontë të të nërë ashe në ikësh alë fë 2015 fë frarë. Ma alë shejnë ma l'impressioni li ta malija li ua Molta Chamber of Commerce, Enterprise and Industry li kien u kol kandidat nazionalista tal-Unjoni Europea u favur da në trattat għani xe t'itkellmu li da ħanġib aktar kummerċ fil-Unjoni Europea jek dan u xmin nujowle jena għandi id-dubit jie jima jena min xekonu minsta u mustenet għal fuq Mbad kire mitti li punt li għawek ftijt li xejn ħareċ. Naħseb wahda min l-aktar raġunijiet li ġabet question mark dan it-trattat kien meta beda jitratta elementi ta' natura digitali. Fwar diri, id-dritti t-tijaj bħala xitta din fluzu tal-internet. Fdan it-trattat għallin għas xinu jint għal sissax il-problema li għaw naħseb din jħaċara u tonda li għaw is ħabi warajħ. U ħab madrabi meta għan min ħabi għam il-biza. U nasu xli dan il-biza ġejmi xejn. Nasu fil-istoria tal-ħabi dejo nuriet aktar aspetti negativi min l-pozitivi. Jekke ma aspetti għafna pozitivi xem tiftaħar bio. Tuħroċ tejdo min uddiem. Issa, li segwejt rigward dan it-trattat kir l-element li min juza l-internet għan nitkellem jek għal minnet jismana furri għandek il-media soċiali no li kħisseħ il-media soċiali kine kwazi revoluzzjoni fu u naħse fedin kum korret jeknejt li fil-maġoranza tal-użu taħħom kienu kontrieħ għali ix għetjera u fiħ skużawni li li nissa mid-dinja mid-dinja ekonomika għetjera u fda nitrattat anki elementi li jistajna għasħafna mill-liberta li aħna għat trabbejna fiħa u tlajna fiħa fil-dinja digitali. Erġena jisna għet nibżaw min stat totalitarju? Li għet, derġa niġu għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għal-għ
edhi jinit naqru. U wanki li l-Amerika fuq kollox ekonomikament u di kwazi tuwazi tfakkarni fil-film no The Wolf of Wall Street għettejx aktar ekonomikament min li fil-fatti flaħ. U għallu rawe kandek kem l-ideologija u kem l-militarizmu li da għaj wassal għal-waqat ad-dominanza. U jara tod għalli għanzi ġodda li jistaw jimerġiħu fil-futur wahda jja dik ta' l-Urazja fod l-Europa għalli għanza maħħa li ġib il-Russja il-Japan u ġaħħġa li kwazi kwazi taħsadna li da' ilu li kitibom ħamis nismini ilu għanki maddinja għarbija izlamika li tidjar stramba naf li jintom għalqo vuk t-kellim t-ħafna fuq da' n-sugġet bis għatin semjom log bix norik li jam akademiċi li mux il-lum la qas il-bieraħ numru ta' snenilu ġa kienu għet jaraw da' u n-numru ta' ta' movementi fejn l-ekonomijiet istat mur u naħseb li bil-muot kifet ġit għet kun trattat dan il-tip ta' ta' trattat TIT TTIP u għa kwazi kwazi għet naraħ kwazi għu naqbel ma' l-pozizjoni ta' divisa amerikana l-zom superpotenza da' Ħaj kolli naċċeċ għa għanna ftitħin ħafna staħt nsaqsik malaj ma' l-pujtaċ naħafu fil-fatt Michael Semma u kwa l-isma nuqdu għat dġa għem ċertu sinjali fors jaħt nuzaħu għan pħala sinjali Semma per eżempju l-ftejn Amerikan ma' l-Kanada l-ftejn Amerikan ma' l-Meksiko fej l-istess klin li għet nisimaw għillu bil-ġurnata mil-Chamber of Commerce ta' Malta fej għalu isma dal trattat ħajziet il-xol dal l-istat krim int għal fil-trattat joħrajn li għan dal Amerika rib dan il-trattat biex nifti mu ma' pajizi ġirin taħħa u fil-fat il-rivers ġara fil-Meksiko t-naqsu z-diet il-art t-naqqas il-biznis u għanka il-Kanada ma' l-Amerika għan da ċertu problemi Sefi għaddek Trump jene jidu għet jidu l-mil Messika għan għal għom barra u għara għon ġenu l-maħal su kol jene jidu għax jie parti bil-diskorsi għax ma tanjpa għanna ħin għanu l-żoċ żoċ real taħit li ġraw fil-diġa għanna l-owel imiċ direttu għu jaki għoċbuk fej fl-Ekwador fl-Ekwador abdet kompanija l-Occidental tħaffer għazzejt f-pajjiza Aħx l-Occidental skont l-Ekwador metta bdew għaffru bdew jam l-ħaffna xsara l-water table l-Ekwadoriana l-gvern ta' Ekwador waqfu mill-li ħaffer u l-Occidental għam let kawza kontra l-gvern aħx l-profit ti taħħum t-naqsu u bħal ma għetna rawem met fil-gazzetti 1.77 billion għvern ta' l-Ekwador kellu għallas l-Occident Martajja baxi sejt nizel 26 il-dollar u s-sabur biġu dom tajba għawek għanna kompanji Philip Morris t-suja l-Uruguay għax daw bidlu fu l-pakket ta' sigaretti bidlu per eżempju smoking kills u għax għamu dik il-kelma smoking kills fuq il-pakket ta' sigaretti l-profitti ta' Philip Morris naqsu talla u l-gvern il-qorti u reħħulom il-miljuni David, dawnu għa kazijiet ċari li ġraw diġa daw il-kazijiet jinkwetawk jistaw isiru f-malta x-taħseb għandek fosi kazijiet uħran jġuk f-moħħuki l-kasmaħna nabdolo għadu għattenti għalijom dawna 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 għalij għandik il-pajjiz jetti naħdu fil-imkien finalment u jikunu bħala blokok ekonomiċi fint jidġiedu bejxu xie u naħsib li jedik jie wahda minnu jikunċet neoliberali fil-laħħan min-laħħar u għapparti u kol min dan il-għafas jħallu l-triz paċi jġvi u għem il-bizzatana jġvi il-bizzatana jie fuq dik il-binari u kif semma il-professur u naħsib li jħna 
اتس ا مين ايشو فور اس انك سمي يا حبيبتي انا اللي كنت تتكلم من مايكل مايكل اللي هو فين تاعنا بارتي من الكوليشن طيب تاع الانستيفا تاع الشيطانين فين جابوا الفرا في مالطا وكل بارتيسيبينا البروبليم اوف مالطا كانت اللي سبنا باش نيت كله شيء فول فول الميديا سبنا البيب معلوم من تاع اي او انفورميشن اوفيس في ليترال مان تاع البوليسيز ان بدو توتالمنت في ابي كان ناتشس اللي مجورنا تايد اللي لا تشس هنا لا طيب اتشس على شيش اتشس جبنا نتكلموا انا في ابي ستاينا انت لوانكا طيب ديسكوسيون توكس ميت طيب فوق ده سوجيت يو فوق سوجيت فوق ده سوجيت فوق ده سوجيت بارتيكولاري هاي كول 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 او دا وقت نجو اتلت بارتي اون كومبلو بالدسكوسيون تاعنا نراكم في التلت بارتي